Hello and welcome to Three Dollar TV. I am Vishakha Thakur. Metaverse has the potential to revolutionize the way we approach education. It can transform school lessons, bring teachers and students together remotely in shared spaces, enhance vocational training, and create new opportunities for lifelong learning. From the ocean's depths to the surface of Mars, the possibilities the metaverse unlocks for truly immersive learning are seemingly uh, boundless. So, according to reports, the global metaverse in education market is estimated to reach over 102.57 billion dollars by 2031. So to know how Metaverse is going to transform the education sector, I have been joined by Ritika Kumar, co-founder and CEO of STEM Metaverse, Ashish, co-founder MetaBook Exa, Akhil Damodaran, cluster head UPES, and Surat Sharma, founder and CEO Wedifile. Welcome to Three Dollar TV. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So metaverse is opening up transformative opportunities and according to a report revenue in metaverse education segment is projected to reach 56.73 million dollars in uh, this year by the end of this year so uh, what is the potential of uh, metaverse in education sector and uh, will it replace the existing traditional education system starting with you mr khilda modaran Okay, so uh, uh, I can give you the answer by two things. First of all, uh, futuristically, I can say that metaverse is really going to be uh, a big thing in the in the education sector because of the simulations and the kind of VR atmosphere which is pro providing it. But on the on on the same time, uh, we have done the experiment in our semester courses with the metaverse, and with with almost more than five hundred students. so to be very frank to you uh, whether it is going to change the education system no but it was or just uh, definitely going to change the method by which the teaching happens i mean because uh, the traditional way of teaching uh, may not be uh, exactly uh, uh, fitting with with what metaverse is i mean in 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 a, in a nutshell let me put it straight that uh, when we doing this uh, uh, the the delivery with the metaverse we have more power in terms of giving visualization and simulation as as a case study or, or the atmosphere of, of a particular scenario but the teachers and the students have to uh, accustomed with that i mean i mean whether they, they they know how to work on it i mean if you are just giving a monologue teaching what you do in a traditional classroom teaching i mean they it may not be a much of an effect so if you look at it yes metaverse has a lot of uh, potential for us i mean we have done that uh, uh, experiment already but at the same time we also also got the feedback that the way the teachers and the students uh, do that classical traditional teaching that has to change a lot i mean i mean that will will also change in the coming time i mean uh, to make sure how the metaverse become more successful this on my side So, Mr. Ashish, Mr. Akhil said that uh, metaverse has a huge potential, but it can't uh, replace the existing traditional education system. Do you agree with him? So, yes, I completely agree with uh, Akhil, and uh, I will just add a couple of points uh, to that. So, fundamentally, uh, the problem has been in this current uh, in the new area era is that student gets a lot of uh, information and uh, stuff through different digital media's. so the way they have they have been consuming this information has significantly improved when it comes to non education and the entertainment space the the engagement level has been very high but the similar has the change has not has happened in the education sector so the premise like the user attention or the attention of the child to gain that the entire content has to have you know shift from the traditional way to a in you know, a in a metaverse or in a very more engaging way and equally second that that it is not going to replace teachers or the interaction between teacher and student it is going to better this interaction because this is going going to give them a tool to deliver the concepts in a better way so uh, ritika what do you think what is the potential of metaverse in education sector i think uh, they've already said this right it's basically a good enough it's a <laughs> because we can be used as an aid you know to make uh, learning more immersive and teaching more engaging but it's not going to replace uh, your regular brick and mortar schools and the traditional format of teaching i'll give you an example very recently uh, you know in a school we actually handed over stem kits for for the school to run experiments because they didn't have a lab 
and we were teaching grade four children digestion. And you know, following a very sticker oriented activity where the children did some experiments on how food travels around uh, in the body, uh, we showed them a VR video using a small Google cardboard with the simulation basically. Children learned the names of the enzymes which part of the body produces what in an hour, things that we as adults may not be aware of were very in a very engaging format, you know, explained to children. And I know that they're going to remember this for their entire life. So the entire outcome was engaging and immersive. And in a very short period of time, children were able to learn those concepts, complex concepts, because there's a visual aid being provided to you. So that is where Metaverse comes in, where there is a facilitator who's combining these experiences for children, curating their lesson plans, and then teaching. So I think teaching is going to change, right? The way children learn is going to change. But the format where children go to school and they actually learn concepts and all, through a teacher, I don't see that being replaced. So that's... So the way uh, students learn is going to change. Uh, Mr. Suraj, your views on this? Uh, I guess uh, the, uh, there will be a complete shift in the in the education system, and uh, sooner or later uh, the existing education system is going to be changed. Just we are just waiting for the real time. Uh, see, there is a gap between the real world and the realistic world. Once this gap is mitigated, once this gap is over, no one is going to like the, join the this classical school system. Because if they are wearing the handset, the VR headset, and they are feeling like they are sitting in the class, right? So the, the study is everything, like whatever VR study is, that is the things of the past. So how mountains are formed, how river is formed, and like how Newton discovered the gravitational forces and everything. And suppose you are there in front of Newton, the students is there in front of the Newton, right? I guess that time no one will join this normal like normal school so i guess sooner or later like the existing uh, education will be changed so it is going to uh completely you know, replace this one. yeah definitely will be replaced completely replaced and make it more easier for students to learn so what definitely, exactly definitely. are you doing in virtual education and uh, what's your product or platform all about um starting with you ritika so we're actually a STEM education marketplace that enables children and teachers to teach and learn from across different geographical areas. So there are no geographical barriers. And of course, so we're basically into STEM education and we enable schools by providing them resources from teachers to content to products, as well as parents and students to actually learn directly. But the idea is to supplement existing school education uh, through STEM-oriented experiential learning tools to make learning a better process, essentially. So that's that's what we do. As a company, a platform, we are, an, we are a STEM education marketplace that offers various different solutions, including VR and certain metaversal solutions to help teachers, students, and parents actually who are part of this ecosystem make learning a better experience and more immersive experience and make sure that every school gets access to state-of-the-art quality teachers and courses. Yeah, that's what we do. Mr. Ashish. So uh, we operate under the brand name of Metabook Exa. So uh, we provide a platform where we provide virtual reality and augmented reality based educational content to schools and students. So primarily at this stage, we establish VR labs inside the school campuses. And we already have a huge library, which we have built in math, science, and social science. So basically, these are the three subjects we offer to the students. And we have built more than 500 chapters already built with us. We have our labs are already functional. And uh, we are reaching out to more and more schools to establish full-fledged lab to provide an integrated uh, learning solution to the school. Amazing. Uh, Mr. Akhil, you're providing an MBA uh, through Metaverse. So can you please tell us more about it? So it's a, we are the first university. Uh, I mean, there was another university also who was, who was supposed to start 
start, but I think we were the first university to successfully deploy the MBA in uh, specialization Web3 and Metaverse. I mean, that's actually, that's the name of this. And uh, uh, it almost uh, 60% of the courses is delivered inside Metaverse. And uh, almost we have st- started this experiment the last one year. And uh, uh, so if, if you look at the product, uh, we, uh, to be, I can't name some of the companies because I, we did some trials with some, some of them. Uh, and we are partnering with some of the dedicated companies to create a UPS own metaverse. But right now we are using Spatial. And by the help of Blender and other uh, engines, we are trying to develop the classroom graphics inside it. And that's how we have started the, uh, the classrooms for the students. And uh, and to be very frank to you, uh, 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 it has helped us two ways. The first one is uh, for the parents. I mean, if they want to know what is happening in, in the university as an information, they do need to. I mean, uh, I mean to see who, what, what the achievement of the students are, or what, what kind of work the UPS is doing, and what is the next new developments they are doing. It. Uh, they can just uh, go to station and get to the UPS inside, and they can they can see all those things. So that's why th- that way we get more we got more reachability. I mean, uh, with the student community. And apart from that, uh, 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 our classroom delivery has improved a lot. But as I think Ashish or uh, I think Ashish also mentioned uh, uh, rightly, I mean uh, the challenge which we felt was ki, uh, as Metaverse is growing, our content also has to become digital and more Metaverse oriented. I mean, that that is still a bigger issue. I mean, bigger issue uh, in, the, in the community as a whole. I mean, we are using PG courses. I mean, so I mean, for them, it's much more uh, uh, challenging to make sure that this, this becomes much more fit uh, as, as a Metaverse tool. So that's from my side. So as you said that making content digital is an issue. Uh, Mr. Suraj, would you like to comment on this? Uh, content creation is obviously a big problem in, in Metaverse because it like a uh, lot of uh, animators and coders who can code in Unity and Unreal is not available. Right? So definitely, but see, uh, the first mover always have so many challenges. So, Right, because see, the things are evolving in front of them. Right, so I guess we have to enjoy the process because we are the very first mover, and who will, who else will face these challenges apart from the first mover only? So from South Korea to Taiwan, uh, schools and other organizations uh, are all tapping the metaverse as a tool for instruction, experimenting with VR applications to bring teaching beyond the classroom. So uh, what is the potential for academic institutions in India to use metaverse and uh, from where should educational institutions start their uh, journey of metaverse? Starting with you, uh, Mr. Ashish. So uh, we operate in K-12 space. So I would uh, like to restrict my answer towards K-12 academic institutes. So for us, uh, we uh, see this uh, integration of metaverse-led content as a part of their curriculum. So our what the way we have built our curriculum uh, content is that it is mapped to the uh, curriculum based out of CPSC and ICS. So the academic institutes, the way they can take a step forward is that they, uh, the way we are doing, like they are they're establishing labs. So what they do is that uh, in a week, uh, they allocate one period or a two period uh, to the virtual reality or a metaverse uh, as a uh, period lab. And the student, whatever they have learned as a concept, uh, can go there in the lab and they can experience all the concepts. So whatever they have, you know, uh, read or have been taught by the teachers uh, in the classroom, they get a chance to experience and to play around, um, you know, uh, these um, concepts in the metaverse. Now. So um, a, a quick step forward could be to embrace on these technology, have these, you know, content um, onboarded in their uh, ecosystem so that they can get integrated with the curriculum and the teacher plan and then the teacher can integratedly, you know, teach the, those concepts to the students. Ms. Ritika. Yeah, so I think, uh, so we, we are an education marketplace. I'm sure this is, and we aggregate all, uh, you know, people who are creators, essentially. So I think, uh, you know, there are uh, platforms that schools can now access this co- kind of content on. And if a teacher truly wants to sort of, uh, you know, curate each class, I think there is a huge potential to do it 
because there are such players in the market and then there are aggregators like us who are actually doing this of course we have a first movers advantage here as well but uh, i think schools if they really want to change and if they really want to implement uh, you know the new education policy there are avenues and platforms for them to do that now